With the rise of feminist agendas like the Me Too movement, many women are becoming less and less agreeable. Wanna relive the good old days when you could treat a girl however the hell you wanted? Introducing iGirl, the perfect girl to fulfill your wants and needs. Using state-of-the-art technology, our engineers have crafted these androids to look incredibly lifelike. So no one will question your ability to get an attractive woman with her on their arm. The iGirl comes in white, black, mixed, Hispanic, and more. She comes equipped with several customizable features, including hair, makeup, body size, and height to fit your liking. You can also choose her outfits to make her as provocative or modest as you want. She's completely devoted to you and your desires. I used to have a girlfriend, but she would always complain about how messy I was. But now that I have an eye girl, she cleans everything for me. My ex-wife used to always get mad at me when I made suggestions about how she should look. With the eye girl, I never have to suffer through complaints from a PMSing woman ever again. Don't wait! Order your own eye girl in an electronic store near you, starting at just 999 Yep, that looks good. Go ahead and take it to the boss so he can approve it and we can start selling these things already. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Power on the upgraded prototype. Model 12156, can you hear me? Yes. Alright, auditory sensors are online. Why don't you go ahead and take a few steps forward for me? Oh, hey, whoa! Pick that sheet back up. We don't want people thinking you're a slut. A uh, slut? It, yes, it basically means you're asking for it. Meaning, uh, never mind. Someone, please get her some clothes. All right, we know the speaking system is online. Let's establish your name. 12156, your name is Naya, spelled N-Y-A. Recite your greeting. Hello, welcome to your personal iGirl experience. My name is Naya, how may I serve you? Good, just make sure you smile when you say it. Matter of fact, you should smile more in general. It's more appealing. Much better. Now, it says here, there's no need to test your range of movement. Let's try your cosmetic capabilities. Take your right hand and wave it downward once in front of your face. Huh, that's strange. We're gonna need to get that checked out. Is there something wrong with my face? Well, that was supposed to give you some makeup to make you look prettier. Do I not look pretty without makeup? Um, okay. Next test. Go ahead and reduce your size to a three. I believe that's a five, but close enough. Go ahead and give her a less revealing shirt. Why do I need to change? It's provocative. Like the word used before. A slut? Yeah, I guess. So wearing a shirt that reveals my midriff is equivalent to exposing my entire body? Why is she asking so many questions? I'm just curious. Everything's so new and strange. Well, it shouldn't be. This information is supposed to be in your programming. My what? Your programming. You're an android. You're not supposed to think like this. I don't feel like an android. I thought I was... Ah, shit. What's going on? Subject 12156, Naya, has passed your test and is clear for distribution. My name is Isaac Warren, AI developer 619 from Sector Beta. Please understand that when I first applied for this job, I was desperate, I had nowhere else to go, and frankly, I needed the money. I just thought this was some passion project to make sex dolls that looked real. When they brought in the newer models, I just thought that we had got some better engineers or something. And they weren't newer models. They were human women. And I don't know how they're doing it, but somehow they're reprogramming the human consciousness to make these women submissive servants, almost as if they're... As if they're slaves. Damn. 
Damn. Damn it. I'm either very brave or very stupid. I couldn't take it. History repeats itself, right? I had to do something. With a few lines of code, I planted a bug in the first human high girl, Naya. Naya is this... Come with me. I know you said you want it by Friday. I just... I need more time. Come on, please. I swear I'll get it to you. I just... Hello? Hello? How is she? Are you Naomi Scott? Yeah. Who are you? I'm Dr. Leonard Boyd, the CEO of Pyramid Industries, the company you applied for. Oh, I didn't know you'd be making a house call. Well, you're the first to submit an application, so I thought I'd welcome you personally. Uh, who is this? Uh, come in. <sighs> Mr. Boyd? Dr. Boyd, this is my sister Nora. Nora, this is Dr. Boyd, the CEO of my new job. Wait, you got a new job? Why didn't you tell me? Nora, I can assure you, she'll be in good hands. That's an ominous thing to say about a job. Nora. What exactly will she be doing? Excuse us for a second. What is going on here? Stop freaking out. I'm just going to be a participant in a test group. Oh, please don't tell me you're about to become a lab rat. Look, they're paying big money for me to do this. How much? $10,000 off the bat. You can't tell me that you don't need that. Well, then I should be doing this. Your daughter needs you here. No one needs me. I need you. You need money. Sis. And I'm gonna get it for you.
Who are you? 